it's Melissa from Messy Missy Creates. How are you? Um, I am doing well. I am going to try something a little different today. I have never, oh, let's see, never have I ever, maybe not never, but anyway. Um, I saw my friend Allison at AJ and, AJ's Inspired Life. She did a spread using, uh, 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 participating in a video hop, the 4S spread. And uh, that was created by Allison at the Coffinated Creative. Um, anyway, so I thought I would give it a try. It looks like fun. In one of my last videos, I talked about um, my, some of my reasons and how I got here and how I started doing this type of journaling, things like that. And one of my reasons was because I could use all the things I wanted in this type of journaling. All of my art supplies, all of my, oh, anything from card making to paints to my good markers, my Dollar Tree markers, you name it. And you can use it in here. You can use scraps, a menu. Anyway, you know all of that. Um, so today I thought I would try um, since this seems like right up my alley, um, it, the 4S is, stands for stencils, stamps, stickers, and scraps. And I have lots of those things. So my biggest dilemma is narrowing down my stash and my choices. So I have kind of uh, you can't necessarily see, but right outside of, see this line and this line and this line and this line? Yeah. So right outside of those lines is a stack of stamps and a stack of paints and markers and inks and stickers. So anyway, I have kind of narrowed down so I don't have to dig in drawers or in my craft cart, that sort of thing. So I'm going to see if I can get started now, now that I've babbled for, oh, I don't know, a few minutes. So I'm going to move this. And I have some fun stencils. Now, I'm thinking just some random shapes. I'm going to just pull out a few fun things. Um, mainly some bigger like background and then I really don't have a rhyme or reason today other than those four parameters. And also, I thought that maybe I would do a page for my friend Allison at AJ's Inspired Life, who had a birthday recently. So I thought, because I'm a horrible, horrible friend and don't send cards like I should, I thought maybe I could do this instead. So, all right, Allison, happy birthday and well belated birthday at this point but i thought maybe i would pull some of the things that either i think that she likes or that i've been inspired to use because of her um which oh good grief that's so many things but anyway that's kind of the only only parameters that i'm, I'm using today so or that i've placed on myself today so the sky's the limit um, yeah, um, I actually am thinking I had pulled on my inks because I was going to do a background. Um, you know, it's funny. I really, and this is one of the, the ad advantages, one of the benefits maybe of doing a challenge like this. Um, sometimes I don't like them cause I feel like it's so constrained, but this one was like, ooh, ooh, I like this. Um, because I don't typically use stencils in my journal. I will in my art journal, but maybe not my daily journal. I have, um, for example, when we had a hurricane, this is a great stencil for hurricanes and tornadoes and other wind storms. So I have on certain occasions, but not as a typical, typical rule. And you know, we always have to start with that background, right? And sometimes that just is the hardest thing. So, 
I am going to, I think, use, oh wait, actually, I may use some very bright, I, I when I, I want this to be a very sunny and happy page, um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, so, I, I, <laughs> I always swore I would never go back to the neons, you know, because we did that in, what, the 90s, I think, yeah, all the neons, but, you know, they're growing on me, so, anyway, I love this. And they actually dry pretty well on the page. Um, so I don't know, I don't use a lot of paint in my backgrounds because you have to be careful which markers you use to write on top. But um, I like um, this Delusions paint because it is very thin and uh, easy to write over. It dries pretty quick. So anyway, these are my, my um, ones I'm debating between. So... Let's go with, let's start with the inks though and see, because I, I think that I'm going to pick this Spice Marmalade. And, well doggone, I did those colors last time, didn't I? Well, you know what? They're just good colors. I like this right persimmon. And, Oh dear, let's see. Oh, wait. See, I always never can do choose between those two. Um let's see. I want to pick a green. I like this you yeah, I like this twisted citron, but um dang it, I was at the store the other day and I had another green in my hand and I said, Oh, I don't need another green. But yeah, I did. Okay, well, let's just start there. And I have some of my, let's see. I have all these little bins and whatnot and, ooh, an empty one, wow. Anyway, cause you know, you never know when you're gonna have a chapstick emergency when you're crafting, right? Um, okay. I'm gonna keep my cleaning rag. I have this little white, I mean, not white, wet, kind of like a um, one that you clean all stamps. I mean, you can see that I don't clean my stencils. I mean, I think it just, you know, builds strength and durability. I know everyone has a different opinion on that. So, um, well, I haven't done these yet. I've been trying to build up my little collection of little sponges, except I would like the new ones that they, that Tim Holtz just came out with, with the little rounded foam ones, but I had been trying to keep them, like have their individual color. Well, apparently none of these have them. Um, and then the little round, look, there, see? And you get the little like Velcro dot and you only have to use the one the one half of it the rougher one and these stick right on I'll find one before the day's over and I'll show it to you but um, that was a little trick I saw somebody do a long time ago but and it works great because then once you get it set up then you don't have to have a separate place to keep these and you know you're not gonna mix your colors that sort of thing okay but for now I am going to start with this right persimmon. And I am just going to, you know what, this is probably gonna work better with the, um, oops. Oh, come on now. This is gonna work probably better with the Dostarsa Oxides, but we're gonna see. Cause this is just such a pretty color. And I may be shaking you. I didn't even think about that. Okay. I'll put a little less, <laughs> a little less booty into my, into my daubing here. We have a, um, we live in an old house and it's, um, what do they call that? Uh, subgrade, um, you know, it has the wood floors and you can go underneath the house. 
Anyway, it shakes so bad. Um, the whole house shakes. My table is very sturdy, but my house is not. <laughs> it shakes so bad. I have a, I'm actually sitting at my kitchen table and I have a china cabinet right here to the left. Well, I say china cabinet very loosely. It's more like a, you know, a hutch with goodies in it. But anyway, it has, um, actually it has my collection of my vintage coneflower, the blue coneflower. You know, the old blue corningware. Anyway, we live fairly close to a train track. And when the train comes by, let's see, which one do I want to do next? When the train comes by, it rattles on my dishes. Yeah, no joke. It's not horrible. You get used to it. You don't even, I don't even hear it that much anymore. But, you know, we all have our little quirks, um, you know, when it's an annoying little characteristic like that of something that's old, it just has character, right? Nothing wrong with that. It's all in the way you look at things, right? And yes, I am making a mad mess out of this and I would have done better by using my oxides. Um, but they're in a bigger container in another drawer and I didn't really want to dig them out. So, looky there. It doesn't look bad, huh? Now, let's see. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. Um, the page before that is my sister's birthday. I have not done hers yet. So, let's see if I can line these back up. Yeah, never pick up your stencil, right? Oop, I did it. I did it, I did it. Okay. Okay, now what? Um, might as well keep going with this. Let's see. Oh, dear. Which one did I use the first time? Um, use the right persimmon, I think. And then this is the abandoned coral, maybe. I don't know. You know, I've never been much of a red person. I, I don't know. I'm... Orange is like, you know, bright and sunny, and I don't, I don't usually wear anything that's orange or anything like that, but I don't wear a lot of red other than, you know, my, um, Roll Tide, you know, Alabama t-shirts and whatnot, but that's crimson, that's not red, that's different, but anyway, um, but I have been very drawn to them lately. Um, I think it's, because this really isn't to me, it isn't red. This is more of a corally color, and I have always loved that bright coral, dark, well, look at my nails. Well, don't look at my nails too closely, because unlike most of the rest of the YouTube community, I do not get my nails done. On the rare occasion, I might, but not very often. Um... I am always painting something, digging something. I, I garden every day. And I'm honestly, let you in on a little secret. Sometimes the reason why I paint my nails is to hide the dirt. There, I said it. It is, um, it's hard to get, when you're digging down in plants and, you know, planting whatever, I ain't got time for gloves. Not unless I'm dealing with something that's just really gross, but I, I don't have time for that. So, I keep dirt on my nails. I have a little nail brush, and I do use it, but it just doesn't all come out. So, anyway, there's that. Now you know all my dirty little secrets. And that doesn't look too bad, does it? Hmm, now what? And see, I was thinking that I was going to need to let paint dry, but perhaps I don't. I actually like that. So what did we use? Well, I'll have to watch the video back. I think it was ripe persimmon, spice marmalade, and abandoned coral, but it could be the other way around. And these very well might be the same thing. I don't remember. Um, but I probably should have done this side too, huh? What you think? Hmm. Let's see, what are our other choices? 
This might be a long video, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, we have um, uh, my husband. It's it's my husband's home today. It's um it's Saturday, and so he is outside cutting grass. Um, not necessarily right next to my window yet, or the window that's right behind me, so you probably can't hear him. But, um, well, that's because there's a garden right outside my kitchen window. So he better not be um, running the mower in there because, well, A, there's no room, and I've got potatoes and melons and squash and carrots and strawberries out there. Um, I was kind of thinking to use this one as an accent. So I very well might... Oh, we have to do scraps. Yes, scraps. Does that mean, uh-oh. Hmm. Well, let's see. Does junk mail count as a scrap? Yes. So, I was gonna use this happy birthday with the balloons and probably cut that out and that out, but you know, just the mail that the casinos send. Um, I need some blue and green. Or not. I think I'm just going to carry over with this. Let's just keep it simple, right? Keep it simple, keep it simple. All right. Now, if I can remember, well, this time we'll pay attention, right? Okay, we'll pay attention this time. Alrighty, ripe, ripe persimmon. And yeah, I'm just using the same brush for all of them. Oh, the same little do Mohicas thing here. Okay, ripe persimmon. Dang, I love this color. Does anybody else really like this color? Um, I don't know. It, these aren't like new colors, but they're new to me. I haven't had them very long. Okay, right persimmon. Where'd the marmalade go? Oop. I ran it up under one of my piles. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So that was right persimmon. Look, if we do that right there, then I'll remember which color they are. Hey, I'm getting smarter. Okay, so then we're gonna use spice marmalade. I mean, it's only three colors you would think I could remember, right? But no. Okay. And if you use the distress oxides and do this, you get a very different look. And I don't remember all the details about what makes them different. But the Distress Oxides, they have a more opaque or a, almost like a chalky finish. And then they, anyway, they're really cool too. Um, I, honestly, I just had these out. And I've been enjoying playing with my little cubes here. Okay, so let's fade into this next color. Um, and I should have probably, if I had thought about it better, I probably should have done like an ombre. But this is the way my brain works. And we do a backwards ombre. How about that? Or a mixed up one. Alright, so this is the abandoned coral. And I didn't leave much room, did I? It is a little bit of a pinkier. Let me see if I can get some of this off of there so we get a true true color well actually anytime you blend you sort of get a little instant ombre anyway come on all righty you can make it darker you can 
you know, you can do whatever you want, but I kind of like having a little bit of both. What do you think? Okay, so now I remember. Let's see. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Got it. So, ripe persimmon, spice marmalade, a man and coral. I like them together. They're pretty. They just say summer to me. That says sunshine, does it not? Let me make sure we're still rolling. Okay. All right. 23 minutes in on just the background. But we don't have to wait for paint to dry. That was the other thing I was thinking. I would, if I use that, then, you know, I, I might still use something on top. But now these do react, um, you know, so if you were to come in with like wet watercolor or whatever, it, it would probably, um, it would react. And we could use another stencil or I think I like, I just, I like this. I love this little, I don't remember what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's Diane Reevely and it's squares of some sort. Um, I, I really don't know. And you know, I was saying about once you take them out of the package, they don't have it on the, on the stencil, but anyway, um, she's got them in bigger ones and little ones. So that's always fun. Um, all right. So let's think about what else do we have? Where's our little list? I put it off to the side. Okay. We have stencils. Check. Um, do I have a regular pen? Probably not. Um, any, any, money, mo. Come on, pick a pen. Here. All right. Stencils, check. Now, we could go back and add a, you know, accent here. I'm not worried about it. Um, stamps, stickers, those are easy. Those, those can go on top. They can go anywhere. Stamps can go anywhere. Um, scraps, I might have to... Because when I think of using scraps and art scraps or any kind of paper scraps or whatever, I always think about, because in terms of an art journal, you know, you might would use those on the bottom and collage them and, and work your way up. But I didn't go that route, so let's see. Um, I, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. But wait, I have another um, another one of these bags. I am trying to get started on this collage weekly thing. Okay, yes, I know I'm like 27 weeks behind at this point, but I don't care. Um, I am so hung up on this first one. It's not that difficult. But it's like every time I find something and then I find something else and then I'm looking for the same thing I just found. Anyway, so I started putting everything in this little pouch. And maybe it'll help. So maybe I'll get that video out shortly. Um, well, I have to make the video first. Don't, don't get me wrong. Okay, so why do we need a picture of or a border of... Those are probably like vitamin E pills, but I needed something on one of those, um, one of those prompts was borders and things like that. So I just stuck, it was something I had cut the rest of it off. So I just stuck it in there. Wait a minute. Let's see, but it looks, it kind of matches this, doesn't it? Kind of liking it. Okay. Not sure if I'm gonna cut the border off yet. Let's just kind of set it here. And then, oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I need a, excuse my reach. I need a, looking for a Wednesday. And my little bowl here. This is a picture of, um, why is it in my bowl? I don't know. Picture of me and my sister. I think I was like five and she was 12 maybe. Anyway, came across that recently. It's in my, 
and my little dish here just to remember to use it, honestly. It just, um, scraps, let's see. The, oh, I was looking for a Wednesday, right? Um, I have plenty, it's not a big deal. Um, and, Printables are not scraps, though, are they? I actually was going to use... I had considered using, um, like, doing a couple die cuts with scrap paper. Thought about that. Um, I don't think I have that close enough that I don't have to dig, so we're just going to skip that one. This might have to work for scraps. But that's okay. Um, what else do I want to use? I have <laughs> this little sweet, sweet little stack of, um, oh, look. Oh, here's another one. But wait, but wait, there's more. Uh, do you see why I never get any pages done? Yeah, that's it. Do we like that one? I love color, y'all. Here's some nail polish. Doesn't really go. Let's see what. Else. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, yep. So I, I have to use something like that. Okay. And hey, wait. Here's a banana scrap. Does that count? Does that count as a scrap? Banana scrap. It's the little stick. Oh, it counts as a sticker, though, doesn't it? Let's see. All right. We'll see if we're going to use it. What else do I have? I can use, mm, here's my little scrap box. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna use. Oh, let's see, we have a Chick-fil-A bag. Um, yeah, because the punches belong in my scrap box, don't they? Oh, look. I love this. And I have been looking for the right place to use that. Not Maybe not the guy so much, but I love the, the little marks here. Okay, stay there. And, oh, here we go. Here's some little art scraps. They kind of go, don't they? Do you see my little box? I don't know if I was going to, yeah, there we go. This is one of those little, um, you know, like a little product bag. Oop, shaking you. A uh, product bag. A little box that I saved um, from the Ziploc bags. And uh, I've been using it from a little scrap box for a while. Um, let's see, we have those. We have all kinds of little bits and bobs and, oh, I know what I forgot what I meant to use and I didn't. Okay, do we see anything else in here that... Well, there's a little tab. Mm, looks like it has seen better days. Oh, that must have been one that got caught in the... caught in the thing, the punch. Don't you love that? All right. All right, enough digging. Let's see if we can make some headway on a page here with what we have. And then I, I will dig out my stamps. Yikes. Okay, let me put this little roll of goodness. Which one? Which one do I use? Oh, aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. Um, I think I might have to use the pineapple. I love this one. It says, nope. It's just very hard to see because the, the dark. Um, and the sunshine. Maybe not the, the bacon and eggs so much. But I love the hello sunshine. And the strawberries. Anyway, okay, those are off to the side. Focus. Focus. Who said that? Um, one of the... I think I'm gonna cut this. I, I like, 
Okay, so this is where I get hung up. Maybe some of you have some suggestions. I'm hoping y'all can see. Can y'all see okay? Let me adjust this light a little bit. Bring it a little closer. Does that help a little bit? Okay, anyway. This is my dilemma. When I see an image in a magazine that I like, and, and I love it. I love the little bits. Reminds me of the little mark making that you do in painting. And, but then it's like, but then there's this guy and he's holding like a diabetic pen. You know, I don't use that. And I know that I could cut it off right here and just kind of, you know, semi fussy cut. But it's like, then I want to use these. So do I just cut off and around here or? So what it ends up doing is it ends up sitting in the box because I can't make up my mind where I want to use it, how I want to use it, and so on and so forth. So, this girl's going to start making some decisions today. And we have plenty of stuff to choose from. So, I'm thinking that, hmm, okay. I will try, let me try this first, cause then I can always cut here, right? So, let me use the appropriate scissors for the job. Um, oh, I hear the weed eater, do you hear the weed eater? Um, anyway, I can always go back around the I mainly just want to, I, I just see what it looks like. If he was holding a paintbrush, I might think about keeping, you know, the hand in there. I don't know. Alrighty, but yeah, see, well, should I keep the hand? Mm, no. Let me think. I always cut it right back off, right? Okay. If I had a collage, if I had a picture of a paintbrush or whatever, something to, or I could always draw over that, but I, I'm not, I'm not looking for something that of a long-term commitment today. I'm just looking for some color on the page. So I still think I'm just gonna cut it right down this line. Ooh, okay. Decision made. Now what to do with it? Cause I do like the colors and I think they look good with this. I could trim it, it won't lay flat. Wow. I'm not worried about getting it real detailed. I do think I want to cut the border off of this though. Or maybe, maybe I want to cut it, cut it into smaller strips. Well, I've got a, I just baked a cake and pulled it out of the oven and it's cooling. And then we're leaving in, I don't know, an hour or two leaving to, um, we're gonna go celebrate my hubby's birthday. Um, and we are going to uh, Goofy Golf, or Miniature Golf, whatever. It's all Goofy Golf to me. Even the real golf is Goofy Golf to me. But anyway, um, okay, now Allison, I know that you and some other people with some really pretty border punches would have border punched that, but mm, guess what? I don't have one. So, well, I have one. I don't like it. How's that? And it's in another junk drawer in another room. But, okay. I didn't really need... I'm just kind of playing. Um, I, I really just needed to play today. I think that was it. And I was using this as an excuse to do it. Um, anyway, so we're going goofy golfing with my siblings and their kids. And um, some of them have kids now. Um, my All my siblings are older than me. Let's see. And uh, we love to goofy golf. 
and haven't been in, what, year and a half now? Something like that. Um, thinking I like this end, if I'm gonna use an end. Cut that down, just to see. Oh, I could put, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna need a number at some point. Let's see, where's my little bag of numbers? This table is so awful right now. Okay, this is, this is not current, um, like the ones I just printed for this month, but this is some older, older ones that I have, um, oh look, I didn't use that. That was actually my birthday. Okay, nope, Saturday. I need a Wednesday. Wednesday, focus, focus. Who says that? Um, Peanut, yes, off of, um, Jeff Dunham and his puppet crew. Oh, they are so funny. Peanut, the little purple, purple puppet. And he goes, focus. Oh, I see a Wednesday. I see a Wednesday. There's a Wednesday. Don't know if I like it, but I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Mmm. I wish, I wish. All right, let me peek through. These are just the ones I already had cut up from previous months. And um, sometimes I'll go in and cut all of them. I don't really think, I'll, oh wait, that one might work though. Okay, I have, a, I have, I have a selection to choose from. Um, I already have that one. Um, sometimes I'll put them in here like this, but I've tried so many times to figure out how to organize myself and I just decided that it might just not be in my genetic makeup to do that. Um, I spend more time trying to find ways to organize myself and less time actually making. And I'm trying to make that stop because I don't like that. Um, let's see. Okay. Alrighty. Bada bing, bada boom. That is... Um, I don't want that pink color. Um, Y'all, I don't do sushi ever. I don't like cooked seafood. Yes, I live in Florida and I have lived in Maine, and I do not like seafood. Um, I don't like it. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm surely not going to eat it raw. Um, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I was kinda hoping that had color. Well, I can come back to it. Um, and, Oh, we might could use something out of there. Strawberries. Oh, look at that. I cut, I need to reprint these. My printer jammed and anyway. I like that. I might have to cut it out just in case. I don't think it cut off too much of the top. Am I in? Yeah. I don't think it cut off too much of the top, but. Yeah, you can see how precisely I did that, right? Who doesn't need a kitten on a dragon, huh? Or a dinosaur, rather. But I like this one. Um. These are, as you can see, from um, Pam, um, from Pocket Journal Pam. Let's see. Um, could always use an earth one. Oh, still looking for a Wednesday though, right? Ooh, I might like that though. Hmm. Let's see.
sometimes I think it's easier to have them pre-cut. You know, we might just need a little spicy little pepper, huh? What you think? Maybe? Um, sometimes I go through and cut them all out ahead of time, and I think, oh, you know, I'm gonna, this will help me get organized, and then I, I think it was February, I put whatever I would use in a little, one of those little Ziploc bags, like my week, I mean, my days of the week, my numbers, anyway, and then certain things that I was, like, gonna allow myself to use, yeah, that didn't work, well, it worked for a minute, like everything else, but, I have just decided that I am who I am and I can either fight it or get on board and and uh, craft around my my uh, dysfunctions yes that's it this is my other, I like this one. I think this one would go well. See, this drives me nuts when they're like this. So that that will get cut here shortly. Um, no, I think I'm gonna stick with the pepper. Little spicy pepper there. Um, all right. Still don't have a stamp though, do we? <laughs> I did not make any headway on that at all. Uh, I'm going to though. That's actually gonna be the easy. Um, and these don't exactly count as stickers either, do they? There was no P in this um, 4S spread. It wasn't 4S and a P. Uh, Who else can't cut and talk at the same time? Um, yeah, let's see, 4S, a P. Yeah, that would work. I could do that. Now I don't like that so much. I mean, I love the pepper, but it doesn't, um, it's not exactly jumping off the, the page, is it? Okay. Um, Oh, I know I was going to use this. That's right. And this technically is a scrap, right? Junk mail is a scrap, maybe, but also that's a scrap, and that's a scrap. So, scraps I have covered. Um, I don't need that Friday, although I like it. We could pretend it was a Friday. Okay, so now I just, oh, oh, wait. Interrupt that thought for another idea. Ooh, Satune Bunny Day. Um, I could punch that like a hole punch. Um, I think I'm just going to cut out the happy birthday. I don't think that, um, we, we don't need the, you have a bonus. Oh, I hear the mower again. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to use, uh, yeah, see, I was thinking I would use that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. I was going to try to cut that. Um, figure out a way to cut that out, maybe. That's not going to work. Ooh, that's not a half bad idea, though. I already cut that, but... Or I could just cut this way. I want it to keep some of the birthday balloons in there. Um, okay. So, when you're unsure, let's see, cut the part that you know that you don't want. And then see how that looks, and then see how to, you know, make a decision from there, right? I wasn't thinking I was just going to do this boxy-like. Oh, man. I'm butchering it, though.
Okay, I like, just wish that wasn't on there. I wish I hadn't already cut that, but I can always take that from behind or whatever. I mean, you know. Um, or I can keep going and kind of cut out a little bit of these. So, all right, I'm gonna do this. Mm, that's not gonna stay connected. Dag it. Okay, it will if I just do that, right? <sighs> okay. How not to fussy cut. Yeah, because see, I like that. I don't know if that really matches this page, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, I know how to fix that. That's not an issue. Just, we don't need the gold nugget on there, so... I guess we could just cut out like around here. And that would probably fit better on the page anyway, wouldn't it? And then we wouldn't have to worry about fixing this little boo boo right here. All right, let's do it. It's just a thing. Um, I think I'm going to, well, shoot. Yeah, that kind of looks dumb. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. Um, do we care? Now, it looks really butchered, though, doesn't it? Ooh, -wee, this is looking awful. I'm actually thinking that I might just should have used a background stamp. I was thinking like focal point stamp, but then I would have to cut, stamp and cut. However, I have another, fallouts fails, I have another bin, right? Oh dear, this is getting long, okay. Um, well, let's see. I have these, A little crafty look glue and scissors ruler for you know you for little crafty days it's a um stamp set that i have um let's see what else oh look well no i'm just gonna use that one that's a stamp Trust me, it's a stamp. Um, it is a, this is not the stamp set, but this is, um, May May made it. This is um, one of her stamps. Oh, here it is right here. It's um, called Cards for Crafters. Okay, so I already have that. And I have a mess. I have a mess. What if we just do that? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe something like that. And really not liking that at all. Fallouts fails, cut a little more, right? Um, I was trying to think if there was a place I could cut and get a whole balloon like I did over here, but there really isn't. Maybe if I just round it off. What you think? Maybe, I don't know. Might be a hair better, but not much. Okay, an hour for the page that did not get finished. How do you like that? Um, that's not supposed to be on here. 
Yeah, I thought, oh, I can just do this. And I have a plan and just play. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. Um, let's see, what am I lacking? Um, stickers, okay. Well, hey, let's dig in stickers. I love these. Um, this might have time to use them. There's an orange happy birthday. always these. There's always those. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's blue. Um, these are um, technically stickers. Uh, I think this is the snarky. Yes. This is the um, small top by Tim Holtz. It's